Alright, good morning. Oh, woke up feeling pretty good today. Alright, another day, another lesson. So, today, um, I just want to go over two new chords, which would be D minor and E minor. Okay, and I also want to talk about um, just the basics, everything we've learned so far. I think we've kind of covered quite a bit. So I just kind of want to wrap things up and make sure we're on the same page so we can move forward together. And I also want to talk about why the basics are important and why I stress this so much. Um, I actually, to be honest, when I first started teaching, um, I would teach a little bit of the basics, but I was more into trying to get my students to just play songs quickly. Because when I first started, you know, I had this, you know, I was young, I was 17 years old when I started teaching. And, you know, I kind of thought that if my students could play a song, you know, a fancy song or play something really fast, that would reflect back at, on me and make me look like I'm such a great teacher. Um, but after years of teaching, um, I kind of realized that in the long run, it was probably one of the worst things I, I could have done. And I'll get into that later. But um, for now, let's um, do what we got to do. All right. Okay, so let's get our two chords out of the way. So D minor is actually is just like the F chord, if you remember the F chord, but I'm, I need to add my finger right underneath there. So what I normally do is bend my middle finger, bend finger number two, and I hold down two strings. Some of you, if you have a really hard time bending your middle finger like this, you can add finger number three underneath. So either way, I hold it like this. I feel like if you can do it this way, you should, because then you have an extra finger if you need it. Okay, so D minor. Okay, either way. And finally, E minor. Okay, a lot of people remember E minor because they look like it looks like stairs. Okay, finger number one goes here, finger number two, and finger number three. E minor. Okay, so we got D minor and E minor. Okay, and same exercise. So far, this is the chords we should know: C, D minor, E minor. F, G, and A minor. Okay, and mix it up. See if you can do this exercise. A minor, G, F, C, D minor, E minor, F, G, A minor, C, D minor, E minor, G, C, F, D minor, F, E minor, G, and D minor. So try that, okay? Just practice holding the chords, okay? Like I said, one minute, do a one minute set as fast as you can, take a break, one minute again as fast as you can, take a break. Okay, so I think you guys, if you guys saw the or watched the previous videos, um, you should already know how I want you to practice these new chords if you cannot hold them, okay? Okay, sorry about that. I had to, I had to cut the video. This is actually take two because um, I started going on about why basics are important, and I started rambling on for like 27 minutes. So, so I figured I'll do you guys a favor and redo this part and try to keep it shorter. Okay, so sometimes I talk and I don't know, I go off track. I do that a lot. You guys can probably tell by now. But anyways, okay, so why basics are important, okay? Um, it's true, I want you guys to get the best possible sound when you play, and that's 
so I use rest strokes when we pick. Okay, uh, when we strum, we use the back of our finger so that our finger goes through the string smoothly. telling you to put your finger here, do this, down, down, up, up, down, change to here. And the reason is I used to do that. Okay, so I'll go back to my story. When, when I was 17 years old, I, I just started teaching and, you know, I don't know if I was just young or inexperienced or, or both, but I thought, you know, if my songs, if, if, my, if my students could just play songs, like fancy songs, then it would just make me look like a good teacher. And that was it. So students came in. I spent very, very little time on basics, but a lot of times I would just tell them, okay, right hand, practice this. Down, 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 down. And we practice that. And then they would get a faster. Okay, faster. And you know, so, and it was fun for the kids too, right? Everybody likes, oh, faster, faster. And then I teach, okay, left hand, space number 10. So 10, 8, 7, 6, 7, 7. Just try to get them to do this. change here, you know, change there. Okay, don't forget this part. And two or three months, they they could play the whole song and it would get better and better and better. And they had no clue what they were doing though. You know, they had no idea what chords they were playing. You know, they just, wherever I told them to put their fingers, they just did it, okay? So it was good. I mean, at that time it was good. The students were happy, the parents were happy, I was happy, everybody was happy, but what I realized later is, you know, I kind of, I feel like I kind of um, gave these students, a, I don't want to say false hope, but, you know, I was bringing them out, perform, you can perform on stage, you know, and people are watching, they're clapping, and, you know, and, and to be honest, they, they all played well, but as they started you know, in their head, learning more songs, and you know, in their head, they're they're getting better and better and better. You know, the there's the next step. The next step, you know, eventually maybe they want to record a CD, and this is like you know years later. But maybe they want to record a CD, or they want to put on a concert, like a one hour show or something. Um, when you get to that level, you're gonna have to come up with your own arrangements or possibly compose your own material, right? Um, you can't just do a concert and play all the songs that Jake plays or, you know, and I used to do that. <laughs> so, when I was younger, um, Jake would learn a song. I'd say, oh, I like this song, you know, so you teach it to me and I could play it. And I don't know, I just play all his songs, okay? And, and to be honest, back then we didn't have YouTube, so not everybody heard Jake play this song before, you know. So, um, yeah, so I got some credit sometimes too where they, they've never heard this song or this arrangement before um, until that time I played it. So they just assume, like, wow, this kid, you know, he plays that song, but actually it was Jake's song, right? So later, I would try to, um, when I did get into recording or 
I wanted to record an album, just a mini album, two or three songs. I didn't have a song I could record. So I had to get into arranging or writing my own songs. And to be honest, I didn't know how. Okay, so it was then when I had to make a decision, either I go back to the basics, learn what I'm doing so that I can arrange my own music, uh, compose my own songs. And luckily I had Jake there because, you know, Jake was never, he wanted me to, to always practice and play with him. So he was never like, no, no, I'm not gonna show you this song or, you know, you always tell me whatever, so. Um, and he's been through everything I've been through, you know, so he would help me understand, you know, what I'm playing, the chords, why this works, what I'm doing. And eventually I could learn to arrange my own music. I could write my own songs, which led to me creating, um, recording my own album, uh, touring, you know, things like that. Um, but without that knowledge, I wouldn't be able to have done all those things. So the key was for me is me deciding to, okay, you know what? I, I really don't know what I'm doing. So I'm stuck at this level. And the only way I can pass this level is if I go back to the very, very basics. And it's really hard. I mean, it's, it's hard on your pride. To have to, you know, okay, wait, what? C, D, E, F. Okay, so let's practice twinkle, twinkle. C, C, G, G, A, A, G, F, F, E, E, D, D, C. Okay, so it's really hard to go back. And to be honest, from in my experience, so now it's been a little over 20 plus years of teaching, um, I'd say 80% will decide to just stop and just quit. And they, they won't play so I that's why I really try to push the basics as much as possible I want you guys to understand the chords we're playing the notes we're playing you know and later when you have the, the knowledge everything will kind of make sense to you so when I go into a new song if I say like okay let's learn this song today you know I could write out the chords write out the notes everything will just make sense okay and I try my best to avoid, you know, okay, watch, watch my fingers. I'm going to put my finger here and here. Okay, now I'm going to pick from the E string up and I'm going to do this. Pick, pick. Okay, now I'm going to pick the bottom string. Now I'm going to put my finger here and back. And you put it together, it sounds like this. You could probably slow it down, watch my fingers, copy it, and then you'll be able to do it. But in the end, what, what did you really learn? Okay. So what if I could tell you, one day, this is how I would like to uh, go over a solo arrangement with you guys. If I said, okay, melody. E, E, G, up, E, E, B, B, C, B. Now the chords, the whole thing is just E minor. Okay, so that whole section is over an E minor chord. So let's hold that E minor chord. Now let's just add the melody. E, E, B, B, C, B. E, 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 B, B, C, B. E, E, B, B, C, B. G, 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 E. Okay, so it I don't know if that made any sense to you, but I think maybe, you know, if you can't really understand it, you can kind of see that, okay, he's using the E minor chord, which we learned today, okay, E minor, and now somehow he's just kind of adding the melody, the melody in the chord, okay, and it sounds like this, one more time. Okay, if I go to the next part, Chords, E minor again, the whole part. The whole section right there is over E minor, okay? I'm gonna go back to my E minor chord and I'm gonna play. Sense, but this is where I would 
want to be with you guys. When you guys can understand what I'm doing, I think that's the right time to start getting into solo arrangements, okay? And we have to pass the part where I say, okay, um, we're going C chord. And you go, oh, okay, where's the C chord? Uh, C. Okay, so if we go to the next section, um, the strumming. C, da, 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 G, oh, C, da, 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 D. Works. 
You don't have to remember this, but I just want you to say, ah, I see, okay, and that, now we're kind of learning something, you're kind of understanding something. Of course, if this is what I really wanted to teach, I would go into more detail. But this is the important part to me as a teacher because when you understand things, you'll remember them forever. Okay, if you don't understand stuff, it's easy to forget. Okay, so just try to keep that in mind. Um, so the basics are really important, and I'm hoping that one day, as our, you know, as you guys learn a little bit more and you guys understand a little bit more, we'd be able to communicate and do more difficult things together. Okay, and I never want to try to, you know, skip the the basics and be like, okay, just. Put your finger here on space number five, okay, the bottom three strings, and just go, and then space number seven, back to take it off, and then space number eight on the E string, and then take it off and stop, you know, so. Okay, so I don't wanna do that because you can do that on your own. I mean, there's so many videos on YouTube where you could just read the tablature or follow the fingers. And I'm not against it. I think if that's what interests you and that's what motivates you to practice, you should do that. But as you're doing that, you know, once in a while, come back and just try to learn and catch up to, you know, maybe your technique is here, but your knowledge might be here. So, you know, keep practicing, working on new songs, but hopefully this channel can kind of bring up your, your knowledge and basics too, you know, so they kind of meet. All right, so basics are very, very important, okay? Um, not just technique-wise, but knowledge-wise too. And I'm hoping that for some of you who have been, um, you know, watching the, the different episodes, maybe you, you know, you might be watching one and be like, ah, this doesn't interest you, skip. Go to the next one and you're like, oh, okay, wait, so what is he doing there? You want to learn a little bit. And then you... Not, you're not interested in the next part, so yeah, skip. Okay, I'm hoping that after today's episode, you might kind of go back. And if there's anything that you didn't understand, just go back and try to understand it. Because when I do these lessons or these episodes, I'm assuming that you guys know everything that I taught in the, in the previous episodes. Okay, so if you're lost there, you know, don't, don't move on, okay? So, I think I'm going to wrap it up before I start going on for another 15 minutes or so. But basics are very important. Um, if you guys have any questions, please uh, let me know. Um, and thank you again if you subscribe because I think um, we're getting pretty close to 100 subscribers. And I don't know, I feel like I'm not doing this for nothing now. It began, it started because I just wanted to have something to do when I wake up in the morning but actually it is kind of nice to know that people are listening and watching and you know kind of interested but uh, no one has asked a question yet so be the first to ask a question and I promise you you will be the first to get an answer <laughs> okay <laughs> anyways have a great day um, work on the basics and I'll see you guys all tomorrow Thank you.